Hey, what's up, YouTube? Oh, man, I'm so excited to be back here. I, I've got a really cool video to show you guys today. This one's going to be focused around the puzzle gene. This gene's amazing. But before I get into it, I really wanted to say thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me on my channel. All of the subscribers and people that have liked my videos. It makes me feel good. It drives me to keep going. So I really, really, really appreciate that. I also wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been joining the live streams that Joel and I have been doing every Wednesday night. Joel from State 48 Exotics. His YouTube channel is awesome, so if you haven't seen it, make sure you head over there. have been interviewing some really, really cool people. Last week, we had an opportunity to interview Ozzy. I know. One of the greatest in the hobby. He's produced amazing snakes. He's a great guy. There's good info. Uh, if you missed the live stream, no big deal. It is recorded and at Joel's channel. We typically alternate channels every other week, so make sure you guys are checking in to, to my Instagram over at Beach Bum Exotics and Joel's at State 48 Exotics, and we'll let you guys know which channel that live stream is going to be. And you guys can join, jump in with other people, chat with other people, ask us questions live. It's worth it. Okay, enough with the plug for the live streams. I've just been really excited about them, so, so thanks for bearing with me on that. But I want to get down to today's video, the puzzle gene. This gene, I cannot believe how much potential it has. Uh, every time I look at it, I see animals some people are producing right now, and I just think, man, that's the coolest snake that I've seen in a long time. Or I start thinking, oh, wow, I, I see what you just did. I think we could amp that up, you know, two, three levels, and it's going to be amazing. So I want to get into some of the markers for some of the people that maybe have brought up this video looking to see, like, what a puzzle is. Markers of puzzle. Uh, I, I look to the head. The head has that stripe. That's a classic ball python stripe. And that stripe towards the bottom, bending towards the jaw, will be broken a lot of times. Um, and you'll see it in different like degrees. Sometimes it's broken just in a certain part, but that's a very classic marker. Other markers of the puzzle gene are the alien heads typically get blended together and the dorsal pattern blends those alien heads across which almost creates like puzzle patterned pieces going down the snake. Um, there's really high expression and sometimes there's some lower expression. By lower expression I mean maybe more banded animals or animals that just like don't have all of the markers in one snake. Um, but this snake works really well with pastel uh, it seems to work really well with Orange Dream, like Ozzy showed us, and I think it's going to do really well with a lot of the color mutations that we have out there. Um, as a pattern influencer, you know, this gene will pair very nicely with other color enhancers or other color mutations. So, like, you know, hypo is another gene that it works really well with. There are some other recessive genes that I think it pairs really, 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 really well with. Um, Desert Ghost being one. I think Desert Ghost and Puzzle are going to go so well with each other. And if you even get crazier, you know, hypo Desert Ghost Puzzle. Um, Exantic Desert Ghost Puzzle. Shoot, I mean, the list just keeps going on. So we're going to get into some snakes that, that I have right now in this project that I'm excited to show you guys. And, you know, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, if you're interested in puzzles or if you maybe have some puzzles or, uh, I don't know, whatever. If you see something that maybe I'm doing and you think, oh, hey, this would be something cool to add to puzzles. Love to hear from you. I love talking snakes with people, so let me know. All right, I'm going to go grab some, some cool animals real quick. All right, first up here, this is uh, about a... Uh, 1800 gram double hypo puzzle. She was one of the first animals that I purchased from Maki over at Pacific Coast uh, Pythons. Maki's got great animals and has been working with the puzzle gene for, um, I think she was one of the very first people that bought into it from Sean. So this girl here 
w has been bred to my Sterling puzzle, which uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit. But anyhow, she's a great eater, just like most puzzles are. I'm sure if you guys have been doing some research on them, you've heard the uh, reputation that they have for feeding, and it's absolutely true. Mine, however, though, are, are pretty good. Like, they tolerate handling, and they're not too crazy. But uh, anyhow, one of the positives about the uh, puzzles is they eat real good. All right, let me grab my next girl. All right, this next girl up right here, this is about, uh, I don't know, I think she's... 13 to 1500 grams. I haven't weighed her in a little while, but this is a pewter hep puzzle. It's going to be another key ingredient to my puzzle project. You know, I'm not sure where I'm going to take her yet. Definitely, she'll be going into a double recessive uh, puzzle of some sort, either Desert Ghost or maybe Hypo puzzle. But she is just beautiful. Love her patterns and everything like that. And you guys check her out. Next up, I'm gonna grab a meal real quick. All right, so this right here is a Sterling puzzle. So this boy, man, he is amazing. Uh, he is a full homozygous version of puzzle. He's not a hat, right? And he's also got super pastel and cinnamon with him. So this snake is a powerhouse. Uh, you really get to see a lot of the puzzle influence. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Sterlings before, but a lot of the Sterlings that are out there, they're, um, they, they don't look like this, right? He's getting these ivories and yellows through him that are pretty unique. The banding uh, that's going on with the alien heads is is very unique some of it's blending over like a typical puzzle very very light and as he sheds he's getting more and more contrast which is something i've been noticing with the puzzles they seem to get a lot of contrast as they keep shedding and growing so this boy he's going to be putting in a lot of good work over here So first one up in uh, the puzzle project that I'm going to show you guys right now is just a normal puzzle, single gene female. Um, this female here has a lot of the typical puzzle markings, which you'll see with the dorsal stripe blending into the alien heads, and they create what almost looks like puzzle pieces going down. And it's very typical for them to almost spell words right there. Um, and as well as you could see up towards the neck, she has some um, side lateral striping. That's very common within the puzzles as well. So this is the first one up, female puzzle, this single gene puzzle. All right, so here we have a single gene puzzle, but she's also het for hypo. So this is a puzzle het hypo girl. Um, as you can see, some of her lateral striping there on the alien heads, they've all blended together. Um, as I was saying with the, the other girl, you know, you still get the dorsal striping, creating almost lettering and some other stuff going on. Um, but this, to me, is like the perfect example of a puzzle. Again, she'll be going into some double and tri triple recessive projects coming down the line. Um, I think hypo and puzzle go really well with each other. And, you know, throwing in a, a third recessive to that is going to be ridiculous. All right, here uh, are the last two snakes totally side by side. I wanted to show you guys because the hypo girl, she has a lot of, like, blushing going on. And also around where the pattern is blended, you get to see, like, almost... But anyhow, so here they are side by side. 
This one's much brighter, has more blushing, has some flaming kind of coming up the side right there. Uh, and to me, the pattern on my Hypo Girl, Puzzle Hat Hypo Girl, is much better than the single jean. But the single jean's, you know, beautiful as well. So, anyhow. Yeah. Alright, next up, some other ingredients. Alright, and right here, uh, this girl is one of the most powerful puzzles that I have right now in the collection. She's crazy. So this is a spot nose bamboo puzzle. This is an absolute amazing, amazing snake. But you'll have other markings too. Like bamboo, you'll get that dorsal striping that comes down in the bamboo that is just kind of wacky. Well, the puzzle seems to be bringing it together. And then on the lateral striping, you get to see the difference in what like a normal puzzle spot nose looks like. Um, so there's heavy puzzle influence with her. Uh, anyhow, she's going to be going to some amazing stuff. I'm not quite sure what she'll be going to. If she'll be just bred to some other puzzles to make some just ridiculous puzzle combos. Or if she'll be bred to uh, another recessive gene. We'll have to see. She's got a ways. She's only about maybe 150 grams at most. So uh, switching gears with the puzzle project, I'm going to show you guys some males right now. So this is a pastel puzzle uh, male. Hatchling size, probably 150, 200 grams. Um, anyhow, so you can't have too many males in your, uh, in your project. So this definitely will be kind of like a plan B male for a lot of the puzzle projects. Once he gets up to age, it will be bred into uh, you know, a bunch of other things. So we have uh, two female uh, hat puzzles here. One's an orange dream hat puzzle, which, oh my goodness, I really think that is amazing. If anybody hasn't seen Aussies, you, you gotta go check that out. With some pastel mixed into this, which not a lot of people are uh, fans of, of uh, the orange dream pastels, but in puzzle, it really works quite well. And then this female here, this is Lemon Blast Bamboo Hat Puzzle. Um, so she is gonna fit into the projects really nicely. She's amazing looking. Um, I love all of the pattern coming down the dorsal here. Um, she's really kind of ivory yellow looking. Not anything to do with the yellow belly complex, but just kind of how she looks. So I got both of these girls here. And these are hat, they're not actual puzzles. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the snakes and kind of listening to my perspective on the puzzle project. I'd love to hear your perspective on it. If you guys are involved with it already or if you want to get involved with it or you know just what you guys think in general about some of the snakes that we work with. So I really again if you made it all the way to the end of the video hey i really really appreciate it uh give me a thumbs up on there i'd appreciate the like and if you're not subscribed definitely hit the subscribe button to see more content i'm going to be touching on some other uh genes that i'm working with here in the coming uh, videos so again everybody thank you have a great day later hey what's up youtube Hey, what's up, YouTube? <coughs> what's up, YouTube? Dude, now you have to say hi to YouTube. This is my cat. Say hi. Alright, see you later, YouTube.